minutes to midday. We are talking all things movies, and Colin McFadden joins me live uh, in studio. Next on the list is uh, this is one now that I've been keeping an eye on for a while, and it's finally hitting theaters on the twentieth. Yeah, next Friday. Yeah, it's uh, Killers of the pa- Flower Moon, and uh, this is directed by Martin Scorsese, and uh, of course, who's in there? DiCaprio's in there. Robert De Niro. Yeah, uh, he, um, uh, Jesse Plemons as well, who's always good. He always mm, plays small yeah. roles in films. He's always so good. People might know him from Friday Night Lights, among other things. But this might be the best reviewed movie of Scorsese, DiCaprio, and De Niro's. Career, and that is saying that something. That is a big I ha- statement. I have not even <laughs> seen a four-star review of this, and, and and I'm including both in the sort of highbrow papers that you would expect that, and also people just going, "This is just a cracker." And what even more surprising about this? This is well over three hours long. I think it's three and a half hours long, and people are still saying, yeah. "Gripping, amazing, not a wasted moment in it," because. We've talked before about the length of movies and really what it comes down to, if the story is good enough, the length of the movie doesn't matter. Mm. What happens too often is we have two hour movies that should have been an hour and a half and that's what's boring. But sometimes you have a three and a half hour movie, even at say Avengers Endgame, yeah. and you go, I was gripped all the way through mm-hmm. because that's how long it took the story to tell. And this is a story, it's about um, the Native Americans being moved to, you know, they're, they were moved out of their land and part of the land they were moved to oil is found and suddenly the rich people wanted to mm. come in and move them off their land and there's a series of murders and really it comes down to because they're Native Americans mm. nobody really cares in 1930s America and uh, DiCaprio gets involved in it the FBI get involved yeah. in it and it's a murder mystery it's a very it's a very famous book one that I wasn't familiar with at all yeah. but <clears throat> Scorsese is now 80 and to be 80 and making a movie like this that is so well reviewed I cannot wait to see it next Friday it looks fascinating thrilling um, he's used some of the de-aging things I think again on, uh, right, okay. cause, cause it's talk about eras I think it spans eras. many uh, many decades yeah you're never going to get over that one <laughs> many decades again with, but with, with the cast that they have it just looks absolutely brilliant is you know when we talked about Oppenheimer, we were going, well, mm-hmm. surely, you know, these people are running away with the Oscars for next year. Yeah. From the response Killers of the Flower Moon has got, I'm not so Serious sure. Serious contender Serious here as well. contender. Okay. And okay. is that brilliant? It's brilliant to have, you know, a debate about that. That means we've lots of good movies. When it's so obvious who's winning, it yeah. means the other movies weren't great And that year. in spite of <clears throat> everything that's going on at the minute, I know um, part of the strikes have been revo- yep. resolved. The, the actors, so the writers have come to a resolution and an yep. agreement. The, act, uh, the actors' union haven't yet. So yeah. is this one of the movies that could have been potentially affected by it? or w- uh, what? Well, I, I think what we're going to have is we won't have interviews with DiCaprio or De Niro, although okay. De Niro is famously a rubbish interview. But what we do have <laughs> instead, we've got Martin Scorsese, who you could listen to, ever, in such an encyclopedic yeah, knowledge yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. all movies, yeah. from like movies from the 1900s to like recent films he has seen everything I don't know how the man can make three and a half hour a movie at the age of 80 mm-hmm. and still have watched more movies in the last year than I have but he has so um, it's great you just probably won't see those people publicising it but with a m- movie this good it probably doesn't need you know DiCaprio to be on Graham Norton yeah. Uh, telling anecdotes the movie speaks for itself itself. okay so that that's hitting uh, screens on the 20th of October Uh, the new movie with Maggie Smith Kathy Bates very quickly we'll talk about that yeah uh, set in Dublin not an Irish person in it although Sean O'Casey the playwright's granddaughter is in it it's a lovely little very simple feel good tale you know you wouldn't believe a, a little bit of it uh, your mammy and granny are going to be very happy to see it. If you like Downton Abbey, that sort of mm-hmm. slightly unrealistic, feel-good sort of movie, or the original Mrs. Brown's Boys uh, movie with Angelica Houston, it's that sort of thing. Um, it's done really well. The la- It only opened yesterday, and already loads of people are going to see it. And I think tonight, between Taylor and Miracle Club, the people who really don't like the rugby yeah. are all going to be in floods going to, going to see this. So it's called Miracle Club. The Miracle Club. Yeah, the set Miracle in Dublin Club. in the 1960s. Yeah. They want to go to Lourdes. I saw a few clips, yeah. all right. I think this might do a little bit better outside Ireland, believe yeah, it or not. Yeah, it's, it's the been, Irish accent. It's Irish. It's yeah. Irish. And like those are brilliant actors who can do probably do an Irish accent. And I yeah. bet you they were told, no, that's not the Irish accent we want. To, we want the top of the yeah. morning accent rather than the way we really Stereotypical. talk. Stereotypical. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I'm from Dublin and it's meant to be Northside Dublin 
Dublin, but it's all happy Gora, yeah. you know. But, okay. but I don't think that matters because it's kind of a fairy tale anyway. Yeah. So that should be good. And then, of course, we have a lot of Halloween stuff as okay, well. Okay, so yeah. what's happening over Halloween? <clears throat> there, will, there will be the inevitable re releases. Hocus Pocus is Hocus going to be Pocus, there. Hocus Pocus, Night, Nightmare Before Elm Street, or Nightmare on Elm <laughs> Before Street? Christmas and the Nightmare on <laughs> Elm Street will both be released. Don't get those mixed up if you're Nightmare bringing kids. Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas movie or, or Halloween movie? I think it's a Halloween movie. Okay. I think it's a Halloween movie. And certainly so did the distributors. But the okay. one I want to mention, flag up, is Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, yes. I wasn't aware of this. It, it was a cult game. And we again, we started getting emails. A lot of teenagers going, are you getting this movie? Getting this movie? I hadn't heard of it. It's about an old, um, it was a pizza place that closed down and the, the robots that ran it uh, are haunted. It's silly, scary movie. But it's really. It popular. already has a bit of a cult following. Just, this one. We got an email from a, a chap in in Finn Valley College. Uh, I won't mention his name, but he had made a load of paper mache dolls of it. It's amazing, and I know they're wow. going to be uh, appearing on social media soon. And so on. Like people love this, and I wasn't aware of it at all. I I always feel old, Get him but in I here. felt extra old because this is a whole <laughs> cult that passed me by. This is going to be a huge movie, and I don't think okay. any of us saw it coming. No, 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 and that's at the end of the month, just in time for the Halloween holidays. So Brilliant. that'd be good. Yeah, okay, yeah. Carly, great to talk to you as always next month November we're probably going to have to start talking <coughs> yeah yeah okay so yeah, yeah. Uh, we will talk to you at the beginning of November thanks so much for calling in to see us this morning Gracie thanks for coming in great to talk to you and uh, listen we'll probably see you at the Taylor Swift conf- yeah. Swift concert in Dublin uh, <laughs> so listen thanks for coming in to see us this morning and we will talk to you in November bye